Let's hit it, y'all. It's circus time, right? The Oma Sports Talk Worldwide <laughs> with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Right? Ah, get that up out of there. Well, let's move up to the circus, to the heavyweight division, and we're going to spit it like it is. The negotiations going on between our champions, Anthony Joshua, right? Deontay Wilder, right? Everybody's undefeated. Everybody's awesome. Everybody knocking everybody out. We know they bad. But at this point, through the negotiations, 50 million was on the table. And Joshua didn't accept it because he wants it to be in England. Whatever. And, and most people are, are okay with that. Absolutely absurd at this point. But whatever. Because it's not the only absurd stuff we're seeing in boxing. Right? So, we're hearing that the negotiations, uh, you know, got about two weeks. This is what Eddie Hearn trying to, trying to tell them, the other guys, what to do. The guys that offered you 50, 50 million, you trying to tell them we got two weeks to, uh, to make this deal happen. Listen, what's going to happen is this, what Eddie Hearn's been saying forever. They're going to fight Alexander Povetkin. The guy that's doped is going to be the guy that's going to get fought. The guy that's been doped, caught with everything, Osterine, and Meldonium, and all that stuff, right? He's going to be the one that's going to fight right now against Anthony Joshua. And let me tell you something. If it goes to purse bid, Anthony Joshua, right, been fighting in England all this time, right? Don't want to go to America to fight. Then he can go to Vegas. He's going to mess around have to go to Russia. Right? And he's going to probably do it. So, whatever. When it comes to Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, if you don't know what time it is right now, you're not a fan of Joshua anywhere anymore. A fan of boxing. You're a fan of Anthony Joshua. Only. Right? And, and, and I'll add to it, like I always say, and unconditionally. You're a fan of another person. Unconditionally. That's scary. No reason to talk to you anymore. Right? Because there's no objectivity no more. There is no other opinion about this. If you want a fan of boxing, he should be fighting Wilder in America right now for 50 million, period. Then he should come back and beat him up in England. Just so we can make sure the English fans, you know, we got, I'm going to give you one. I'm just going to beat him up real quick. I'll be right back. It's ridiculous. But anyway, Anthony Joshua versus Povetkin will probably happen. Right? And I'm just telling you now, right? I don't care anymore. Gennady Golovkin fought Matt Rosen. After knowing why and how he fought Matcha Rosen, I basically boycotted it. Nobody knows, but I basically boycotted it. I'm not, that means I'm going out to dinner. I ain't watching it live. I'm not stopping. The world won't stop for Gennady Golovkin versus Matcha Rosen after I know that he didn't want to fight any other mandatory, that all of them were ready. Jacobs would have fought. Charlo would have fought. Demetrius Andre would have fought. Darren Chico would have fought. But he tried to fight Mungia, who was smaller than him, and then Nevada didn't do it. And then he tried to fight Mata Rosen, who hadn't fought in two years and from a division lower than him. No, I don't like bullfighting. I don't like when the other one doesn't have a chance. I don't. And if I do watch that fight, I'm going for the underdog, definitely. People that like stuff like that will like bullfighting as well. Then they should legalize it. I've said that several times. So I boycotted that. Joshua versus Povetkin will get the same treatment. I know of what happened with the Joshua and the Wilder negotiations. Knowing what happened, there's no way I'm watching Joshua versus anybody else right now. Right? I will watch Wilder versus anywhere else because I know he wanted it. I will not watch that live. And I'm being honest. When Golovkin fights, everything stops. Normally. Joshua fights, everything stops. Normally. Wilder fights. Everything stops. Mayweather fights. Everything stops. Sugar Ray Leonard fights. Everything stops. Uh, Lennox Lewis fight. Everything stops. Mike Tyson fight. Everything stops. Klitschko, especially Vita Lee. Everything stops. There's certain fighters where everything's stopping. We fight. George Foreman. Everything stops. You plan the whole lad next two days. You know, got the popcorn in it. Man, y'all what's up? Y'all got the butter, man? All right, now. You know, all kind of stuff. The beer, whatever you do. It's going to be there. You plan it. People invite it. You know where you're going. All of that stuff. That's what I'm talking about. That's what happens with fights like that. Right now, Terrence Crawford fight. Andre Ward fight. Everything stops. You know what I mean? He was an everything stop dude, Anthony Joshua, for me. 
There ain't no hate on Anthony Joshua. This behavior cannot be supported. That's the point. I'm not English. I'm not going to support him just because he's my land and my countryman. You know what I mean? And plus, I don't do that anyway. My favorite fighter is not from my country. Lennox Lewis isn't. <laughs> he's not. He just earned my respect. Bad boy. Right? This Anthony Joshua versus Pal Palenkin fight, I'll be talking about it a day after, watch it later on YouTube or something, whatever. It ain't, we ain't stopping from it. And it's going to be hard, too, because I, I like fighting. But it's just, a, that's a, no, no way. Because I see how you guys are and see what you want to do. And, I, and it's unfortunate, right? In that fight, I wouldn't want to go for nobody. Because I, I can't really say I'm going to go for Pavetkin for nothing. Because they feel entitled over there, too. They don't feel remorse for how they've been acting, right? They boys will try to stop the Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua fight, right? Knowing that they would have, uh, Deontay Wilder was trying to fight you. You were doped. Had to pay him $4.5 million. His biggest purse in fighting history. The biggest purse he got for not fighting. Dope twice. Wanted to get back in the mix right away, right? Right back, getting in a mandatory position after being doped, fighting the Hoppus while you're doped, after the fight with Stavern doesn't happen. The Hoppus was there within 24 hours, which makes me know that you knew you were doped, and we have the Hoppus already on standby, ready to come from France to Russia within 24 hours. That's just, I mean, that is glaring, right? You fight him, then you fight one dude after that, uh, my man from, from Germany. Get his name right now. Fight him. And then you fight David Price. And you're in a mandatory position that has to fight and people and, and about to get in the way of another fight. WBA, be ashamed of yourself. Be ashamed. Make people have to pay for their transgressions, but you don't. So if Andrew Joshua, who basically I ain't gonna fight wild unless it's on my soil, and and, and Pavet can fight, really, things ain't stopping. Right? Things ain't stopping. I'll watch it the day after. It won't deserve the respect for you to stop your day for. That's what I'm trying to say here. Because they have to learn, right? If you have people following you and you fill in stadiums and all that, then you don't have to, you know, then you don't you don't think anymore. Same thing with Canelo. You start feeling the title, you don't think I got my own weight division. Everybody, I'm the A side, regardless if I have a title or not. All of that stuff. That's not boxing. That's just I have fanatic fans of me. That's what that is. That's popularity contest. That is not where this is belongs. It shouldn't be that way, really. That's why they really need someone to regulate this sport because it's a lot of other stuff going on, right? We don't even want to get into the sanction of bodies, but let me just get back to the main point. Anthony Joshua versus Pavetkin won't be watched live by me, period. Doma Sports Talk, worldwide, and I'm up out of here, y'all.